It is a Monday night and I just received a bunch of information about the commercial that I'm going to be shooting at home. So they send me a link. I'm going to get a briefing by somebody. They sent me the shot list, I believe. They sent me a bunch of emails. So tomorrow morning at 11, I have a meeting with them so they can tell me all about that. But right now I'm going to help my friend Joey, who is also an actor with his self tape audition. And then I'm going to read those emails tomorrow. I actually don't have to work at the office but I'm gonna be able to concentrate on that and who knows, maybe I'll even film the at home thing tomorrow. Well, that's a lie because I still need to get all of this stuff sent, but I'll make some kind of progress with that. Um, hi, it is Tuesday and um, today I have a meeting with these people that I'm doing a film at home commercial for and I misunderstood, I believe the first email because at first they told me they were going to send me some equipment, but I think what they meant were they're gonna send me details and the instructions on how to film it because pretty much I'm gonna be filming with the things I already have. I have a smartphone, I have a microphone, tripods all of that i'm going to be going into a meeting with them right now for a briefing on all of that and i'm sending them photos of my apartment basically like you know these plants and backdrops that i have here and then my bedroom um you know my actual bed area as well as my living room i think these are the best places to film they're the, the most aesthetically pleasing places that I have in my apartment. They haven't sent me the script yet, but they send me general instructions of, you know, they want to film vertically for this one. Make sure your lighting is good, what to wear, what you should look like, your grooming and all of that. So um, I need to jump on this meeting right now. And our briefing call is over. So that took about 15 minutes and I'm trying to keep track of how much time I actually spent on this project because they're not paying very much and i just want to know if for me if this is a good decision for me to do it again in the future because i'm assuming um once they use you once they'll continue to use you if they like you especially because it's a film from home if they already know you have a good you know setup at home and you are able to film yourself i'm assuming they would contact me again it's for a, a game like a phone game and so i'm gonna download that and then read everything then get started on Hopefully filming it because I, I just want to, you know, get it over with right now since I don't have um, any other auditions today or anything. So far, this project has taken around 20 minutes away from me just because I read, you know, emails previous to this. But I auditioned for them. Oh, and I was looking for um, the audition that I sent them a while ago. And I swore this was from like a year ago that I sent them this. But the, I actually sent them an audition in uh, November for some glasses commercial. And I believe that one was also film at home. I can't remember. Okay, so the thing I have to make a video on, it is an actual game. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm going to download it and actually play it. And I just texted my boyfriend to see if he's willing to let me borrow his phone because for some of the shots, it would be really helpful if I had an extra phone. Um, so I don't know if I can do that because obviously he needs his phone for work but he might be able to use his computer for work um for like contacting um co-workers or whatever for just a couple of hours because i really don't think this is going to take me very long so i'm going to download the game right now and play it for a little bit i played the game and it was it was pretty funny it wasn't as like generic as i thought it was going to be because a lot of these video games that are like this that are sim style where you get to choose your you know what you say to different people but they have different versions different text yeah it wasn't as like cheesy as i thought it was going to be it was actually really funny and you do have to pay to like add different outfits or do whatever things but obviously i didn't want to pay for it because i was just looking in to it for this commercial it's even funnier if you don't choose to upgrade because you diss people like one of them i think you're supposed to like sweep them off their feet or reject them and if you wanted to sweep them off your feet you had to pay so i was just like rejection <laughs> so it was pretty funny and i have never well I don't know. I was going to say I have never played a game where you got to choose like your own avatar person. Anyways, this isn't the commercial. I don't need to be, you know, reviewing the, the video game. Oh, and I also texted my boyfriend and asked him if I could use his phone so I could play it. And he said yes. So I'm going to bring him some coffee. I'm going to make him some coffee here at home. Bring him some coffee as a thank you. Pick up the phone, borrow it for like maybe an hour and then give it back to him. 
So let's make some coffee to thank Alex for letting me borrow his phone so I can film this commercial at home. Okay, I got his phone, so I have it. I'm going to hopefully just take it for a little bit. He was using it when I got here for a work thing, but um, the person he was having to contact a bunch of times said they're officially done. So I'm gonna go shoot this super fast. I'm hoping to like no more than an hour because like I've mentioned before, this isn't a, such a high paying job and it's very natural. So it's not like I have to rehearse anything. I just have to be natural. So let's hope I can get this in just a few takes. Okay, we are back at home. It's 1.18. So I'm going to use my living room as the backdrop so that for a few reasons, um, there's a fan right outside my, uh, window for some reason. <laughs> I put lotion on, now I can't open this, <laughs> of course. <laughs> There's a fan right outside my bedroom for some reason and it's a little loud. I'm afraid that it'll make some buzzing sounds when I'm filming. So the sound in general will be better here and then I can have the shot list open on my computer that's right here and then I'll be filming right there. Um, and I'll just bring my ring light to put a little bit more light in here because there's like no natural light in this room. Okay, it is 2.04 now and I think I'm done. I think I'm done with the shots that they asked me for. I'm going to send them over to them, but first I'm going to um, delete this app off of my boyfriend's um, phone and then go give him the phone again. Okay, before I go give my boyfriend his phone back, I'm going to look through the email and make sure I got all of the shots. Signs, shot list. Okay, I got the B-roll too. Okay, I think I think I'm done. Took me like 40 minutes plus the 20 minute, 15 minute um, meeting I had with them, and then I mean having to go get my boyfriend's phone took a little bit. So in general, I don't know. I think this took me around an hour and a half to make. So right now I just have to upload the footage to the file that they gave me, and then I'm done. Let's see how this goes. Okay, I am back home and I changed because um, I was wearing that sweater yesterday. Um, but <laughs> after like 20, 25 minutes, um, I think my boyfriend was in a meeting because he didn't know when I was coming back. I finally was able to give him his phone back. So now I am going to um, connect my phone to my computer so that I can upload these videos and send them over and see what they think about the videos I shot. And then I'll update you guys on what feedback they gave me. Good morning, it's Wednesday and I just got ready because I have an audition. Um, they are Zoom auditions again. I'm setting up my lights and everything. I still need to change. But last night I got an email from the Art Academy again for a different class. And these ones are student films uh, that are going to be filming at home. So you would be directed via Zoom. It's a drop-in audition, a lot like it used to be in person. And if you guys want to know how I'm getting all of these auditions, it's March. So I'm going to be showing you all of my audition tracker for February, every audition that I got, what I booked, and where I got it. So that if you guys can also, you know, use those websites or those resources and you can take advantage of them. But um this audition is a lot like the ones in person where you would go in and audition for a bunch of different projects. So uh, for today, there were two different projects, two out of four that had females in them. So that's what I'm going to do. And they were actually drop in auditions that you can come between 9 a.m. and 12. I got up a little bit later than I wanted. It's about 930 right now. So I'm essentially just going to change, go over the lines again a couple of times and then hop on and audition. <laughs> Okay, 
Okay, so it's time to log on for the audition and there's two different um, characters that I'm gonna audition for. One of them is a friend, but she's supposed to be, I believe, um, some kind of influencer, an actor, an actor. And then the second one is a uh, fitness influencer. So I'm just gonna throw the sweater on and then for the, inf the first actor, I'm just gonna wear this shirt and then throw this on, the sweater on for the instructor. She's doing a live, um, a workout live. So I will have both of these, I have the sides. All right, I am done with the audition. So I had time in between the both of them. So I decided to put on a sports bra because my sweater was gray and my backdrop was gray. But um, the auditions are done. They were pretty fun. The only thing was that the scripts, even um, when I got into the audition, were different from the ones that were given to me last night because these are pieces that are being written by the students. So they're, of course, you know, constantly changing and improving them. And um, so I did have to read a little bit off of the screen because they went ahead and shared the screen with me because I couldn't, you know, I was using my phone, so I couldn't use it for the lines. Um, but I did each one once, which was surprising. I assumed they would give me feedback and then do it again. But uh, they were recording it. Oh, I forgot to ask when I would be hearing back, but I'm sure they'll let me know soon because these ones, um, they are having a few hours of auditions today. So I'm assuming today might be their only uh, day of auditions. If not, maybe they're maybe doing one more day of auditions, but that was it for that. So I, tonight, I have my rehearsal for the other class that I'm working with. Today's the last rehearsal and I definitely want to have my lines memorized. So I need to finish memorizing those because I haven't finished memorizing them. So maybe, um, maybe I'll go on a walk and then go sit in the grass somewhere and memorize lines for a little bit, get out of the house. Oh man, I, I got back from the park and while I was at the park, I was trying to figure out, um, how I can get more footage for my reel because I'm going to be submitting to a bunch of agencies and casting directors at the end of the month. And um, I remembered I have a very talented friend that I found through a Facebook group, actually. His name is Javi and he has a YouTube channel. You guys should check it out. He's done some really cool stuff. His channel is Blessed Dress. I will feature his channel at the end of my vlog today so you guys can see it. But I was like, oh, he always makes really cool stuff. And I've worked with him before on a few things. And I was like, hey, if you want to shoot something, let me know. I'm trying to get more footage for my reel. And then he called me and we just spent an hour and a half talking about so many different ideas, so many different things. So you guys, we are going to be filming a short for his YouTube channel, I'm assuming. Yeah, Javi, let's put it on your channel and also uh, for my reel so that I can include it in the reel. But now it is five o'clock and I want to move my desk back into the room here. They actually sent me a reminder email with a link to the Zoom call, which, you know, that's where the rehearsals are happening. So that's super nice because now I don't have to search for the link, but I have the scripts here and I also have the scripts open on my desktop and I'm going to do the rehearsal now. Oh man. Oh geez. <laughs> Uh, today we recorded some of the scenes for the, the scenes that I was an actress in and they actually used me. I'm saving, hold on. I'm saving. I was saving the file cause I accidentally got permission to record these instead of one of the students. The instructor gave me permission instead of the director. So I need to send it to them. Um, it's saved on my computer now. Anyway, so last week I was only used for two scenes and today I was used for four, which were really three cause, um, one of the scenes I did twice and uh yeah <laughs> it was just it's very interesting uh working with all kinds of different actors and all kinds of different directors some of them had had um like no experience in general and then some of them were actors some of them were um you know more like communication side so it was really interesting it was nice to get all of those different perspectives and be able to play so many different ways. It was really fun to uh, get different directions for the same scene. But anyway, I just finished that class and I am starving. We got out a little bit early again. So last week, I think I got out at like eight. Today, I got out just just now 8 30 p.m um so I am starving. I'm gonna go eat something and then relax and um, tomorrow I actually have to work at the office. I'm helping out tomorrow. So my schedule is just like always shifting with that, um, 
it's basically like an on-call office job so tomorrow i do have to do that and um i think aside from that i don't actually have anything tomorrow i haven't yet gotten a self-tape audition for my agents this week so maybe i'll get one tomorrow or the next day but um for now i think i'm actually done like memorizing things that I had on my plate because this class is officially over and I'm just waiting to hear back from the other auditions. Um, yeah, today was interesting. Good morning, it's Friday and right now I am going to go over a spreadsheet uh, or a information sheet because I'm going to hop on a call soon at 11.30 for a training. So I was cast in something that I auditioned for earlier this week for the Academy of Art, a scene, and it's uh, they're gonna direct it through Zoom and I'm gonna film it at home. You can go to the school and pick up equipment to be able to do this, like a lavalier mic and a phone. If you don't have a smartphone that's you know new enough for the quality that they want and the app that they need and green screen, all of that, but I already own everything. I don't have a lavalier mic, but I have the Rode mic that I'm using right now. So I already have everything. They sent me a presentation of information they're going to go through, and then I also have to attend a meeting to get trained for that. Um, so I'm going to do that right now. And then every Friday I work with my accountability group, um, co-working group. So I'm also going to jump on that call from 11 to 1 and work on some things. I got a voiceover audition for my agents last night. So I'm also going to be working on that. But um, first I'm going to go over this information sheet so that I know what they're talking about. Um, technical sheet for actors. So this is basically training for actors that have not had this training before um, that will be working with the Academy of Art to film at home. And then after this, if I get cast in anything else, um, I will I will not have to take this training again. And so let's take a look at this. I'm assuming that they're gonna tell us uh, what we need again. Yeah, this green screen. And then they're explaining how the app works and. I'll tell you guys about this app later on because I've actually been using it to film my videos for a few weeks, maybe even a couple of months now. I It's like $15 and anyway, I'll tell you guys about it in a different video because obviously it's like a whole app and it's a lot of information. So I don't want to make this vlog really, really long. I'm excited to use a green screen too because for the project that I was uh, selected for, I am a 10 inch uh, like athletic influencer so I teach fitness classes on TikTok and I think it was Instagram in this project um, and I'm 10 inches so I'm gonna have to use a green screen and we do own a green screen I've just never used it but I know that you need to light the green screen on its own and then light you separately so that they can edit it easily but other than that I have no idea how to use a green screen how to edit with it work with it or anything i'm not going to be editing i'm just going to be filming and acting um but i'm excited to actually use a green screen and this project we're going to be filming it next wednesday so i'll be sure to vlog as much as i can i am feeling good we're doing that anyways but during this time i'm going to um have a voiceover audition to send to my agents and then I have a training and then after that, I'm just going to edit my vlog. If I get tired of editing during that time, I will film a video. So I have a lot of on my to-do list that of course will continue even after our call today. Okay, I am done with my training and I'm done with my co-working time. <sighs> the training was really, really useful. It was a little bit longer than I thought it was going to be. But it was nice to go over and I got really, really sleepy. I didn't get as much done during that time as I wanted to. So just made a matcha to get some more energy. Now we need to go record that voiceover audition because although it's not due until Monday, I do have time to do it now. So that's what we're going to do right now. All right. So to close off today's vlog, I'm going to share with you guys all of the auditions and where I got them. And if I booked them from February, it was a pretty slow month. I still did not do any self submissions. I kept an eye on cast it talent, which is where I auditioned for a Netflix show last month. Um, but I still don't have a paid account. I'm just doing that for free. And I noticed that a lot of the opportunities this month, um, they were basing it off of the reel that you uploaded. And because I don't have a paid account, I don't have my reel on there. So I'm thinking of activating that, um, you know, shortly, probably this month. But in general, I'm gonna tell you all of the auditions that I got through my agency. And I got a few things in February from people that I have worked with in the past. So I'm gonna also share with you how I 
got in contact with those people. So February 10th, my agency, Marla Del Talent in San Francisco, sent me a voiceover audition and I got a lot of voiceover auditions from them uh, in February. That one was for T-Mobile and I did not book it. I haven't been booking a lot of voiceovers through my agency, so I wanna get some feedback from them and see what I can do better because at the beginning, when I first got signed with Marla Del Talent, I was booking a lot of voiceovers um, in general, so I just wanna know what I'm doing wrong so I can you know, book some voiceover auditions. And then the next day on the 11th, my agency sent me a voiceover audition for Ancestry and I also did not book that. On February 23rd, I got an email from the Academy of Art. I initially got in contact with them through SF Casting, Casting Networks in San Francisco years ago. And then because I have worked with them a lot of times, the person in charge of casting there has now seen me so many times that she is familiar with my work. So she always sends me uh, opportunities to audition and um, invitations to audition. And this one in particular was for a direct booking for a directing class. So I actually got booked without auditioning or anything because of previous work for that one in particular they were looking for an actor they said whoever you know replies back first is going to get it so i replied back um i don't know how many actors they were looking for but i was one of the people that they did end up hiring so for that one i did two separate wednesdays where we got directed via zoom and then we performed them this week on wednesday so i did book that on February 25th, my agency sent me another voiceover audition for a tech company, and I also did not book that. That same Friday, the 25th, I auditioned for MFAs for the Academy of Art. Again, I haven't heard back from them, but they did tell me that they were going to have pretty extensive auditions for that. So I'm not sure, but for now, I'm just going to assume that I didn't book it because I didn't hear anything back about that specific project yet. And then the last one for the month was February 26th, and that was actually from a self-tape audition that I sent back in November, and they got in contact with me saying that the producers um, saw that older audition and wanted to book me for an ad that I would film at home, which is the ones that you guys saw that I did film, the commercial that I filmed here at home, so of course I did book that. In February, I only did six auditions, which is so so little and i booked two of them um the two i booked were direct bookings because i had already done work or sent them auditions in the past so i didn't actually have to auditions for those this time march is feeling a lot more active and productive so i'm excited for this month i have been doing so much research on agents and been doing so much work for agents and started a lot of projects like i've told you guys um throughout this vlog it has been such a busy week acting wise i'm I'm, I'm just really happy right now because I've been doing a lot of acting. Um, so I'm just, I'm so excited for the rest of the month and um, for April as well. Thank you guys so much for watching my vlog. At the end of every video, I feature another channel. And like I told you guys, I'm going to be featuring my friend's YouTube channel, Bless Stress. I've done some work with him in the past, so you might see me on his channel. Um, so go check out his channel. He's today's feature, Bless Stress. If you would like to be featured on my next video, make sure you're subscribed, like this video, and leave me a comment.